YouTube, what is up? Boy Girl Koski. Alright guys and girls and people, let's do this. So a couple things going on. Um we've got some clones in here now. These are from the other garden and uh the cannogenic plants, Kingpin OGs, three of them, the roots. We'll be doing some of those very soon. This one's nice and healthy, so um, yeah, looking good over there. The boras that I just bred, which is Mickey Dora times Baboon. Get them growing. A couple little spots over here I burnt with a little bit of an excess of um, uh, nutrients. I was going into the pot or whatever else and fucking ended up in this. This ray has calcium, magnesium, lower leaves right there. So I just hit it with some food. Looks good on top, new growth. So these ones are twisting just like the baboon did. You can see it right here. The twisty variations. It's classic GG4. And that's what they do when they grow. And that's what I've always I've been talking about with the baboon, how it has the GG4 uh, root zone. You know, it really, really takes over. It's very dominant. Uh, just a great female that was bred into it, so awesome stuff. But yeah, they're looking fantastic. They're only transplanted on 417. It's probably six days later so um, they started at 329 it's not even a month old yet so we got that three weeks old right here under the bipod 600 and then we got over here we got ninja fruit she's bushy a leaf stripped her let her grow back a little bit she hasn't really got taller she's got she's kind of filled out so I'm gonna be transplanting her here soon I wanted her to go outside um, but the weather is not really permitting right now, so I gotta do some more training with her. Nice leaf structure, nice and big. So, I'm pretty good over here, guys. You know, trying to push them. These are cow mag monsters, the boras, just like the mother was. Just fine. Good stuff. Over here, we got day 38 now. It's actually Tuesday, so day 37, sorry. Um, this is the critical berry. Show you back here, here we go. Looking real, real, real good. For this front one, hungry. It's a real hungry, hungry female. Back one, not so hungry. Nice and green, healthy. Same type of bud structure, total different type of uh, plant when it was growing in veg. But it's a day 37. They look fantastic. Big old fat cold, so real happy with that. Bit of blood porn. There you go. Good stuff. I love five sixty one C's right here. Two hundred watts. Right here we got Muff Diver. Seven leaf genetics. Resiny plant. Super frost. Super frost everywhere. Day 37. Not a not a big yielding plant whatsoever. It's under the um, LM C, yeah, uh, LM 561Cs. Same thing as the other ones. Ran with an H uh, Meanwhile driver. So only 100 watts on that. But you guys see the frost. Some crazy frost going on. It smells delicious. Frost Factory. Super stretcher though. Not a big bud structure, but you guys see it telefrosty. Beautiful. Right, over here we got um, on the Optic 4. We got Ninja Fruit on the other side over here. It's a five gallon. Um, we got the Double Tangy Banana back there. Just pushing out pretty hardcore. Doing good, letting her do a thing. Uh, she's got nice side branching going on, so I'm going to leaf shipping her very soon. Um, double tangy banana in the front right here also. Doing good, just hitting the top of the scrog. And then we have the Bubblicious over here. Times um, White Island. 
and that's going to be filling out. So I'm just trying to fill them out a little bit. That one's going to be kind of difficult. I have to kind of go that way with it. So this one I'm going to have to rely on once I leaf strip it to be able to do what I need to do with it. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, we'll be flipping these into flour probably I'd say in the next week or two. So yeah, over here. So what I decided to do with the breeding project, and uh, it's been going well, but um, I'm not really smoking the bud so much, you know, so after um, I end up harvesting, I don't have very much, you know, bud to press or trim or run and bubble or anything like that. So what, I'm, what I decided to do is just low dose, feed it, um, you know, like a milliliter a piece of uh, some A and B from the, the hell is it, uh, from Memorial Harvest can't think straight my bad um and it seemed to be coming back a little bit because it was starting to get quite like necrosis on top you guys can't really see it because of the thing but it's, it's completely seated but it started to get some fucked up stuff going on the top over here so yeah right there decided to feed a little bit because i'm only going for seed production so i'd rather have bigger seeds than really any kind of weed that I really you know it's, it is resiny and stuff but I can't really do that much with it. it's not very much there so okay a little bit burnt so I don't want it to eat itself like that so I might as well just feed it it obviously wants to have more seeds which is fine it's definitely has seeds in here because I pulled a few out earlier so that's great so this is our baboon UK cheese times hash plant um, and also with a Mickey uh, Mickey Dora feeder number two male so that's what I got going on over here, guys, in the Grokowski Garden. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. And, yeah, shit's going pretty good over here. No doubt. Much love, everybody. Talk to you soon.